What's up guys, I'm Colin Moore with Rudis Wrestling, four-time All-American, three-time Big Ten champ, and 2021 Olympic Trials runner-up. Today, I'm gonna go over my outside step duck under. So I've always been a duck under guy, I've been hitting duck unders my whole life, but a lot of them were from an inside tie, and they were more swoopy duck unders, and they were kind of slower, and as I've gotten to do higher levels of wrestling guys, it just didn't seem to work out as much. It was a little too slow. I would get stuck in really bad positions. And about maybe a year ago, um, Tervell, my coach, and Miles Martin, my training partner, they started working with Miles on an outside step. And so I really liked that move, but it didn't kind of fit my technique style completely. So I've tried to find a way to combine the outside step setup with my favorite shot, the duck under. So early on in my career, guys, a lot of my duck unders were a double knee drop, either from an inside tie or an outside step from a from an elbow pull. So a lot of it was from an inside tie. I would fake and I would pull them over like this and kind of wind up in a double leg or a duck under. But what started happening, especially when I got to college, was when I went to go double knee drop, it would sprawl and I would get stuck on my my heels like this and it would be really hard for me to recover and a lot of times guys would get go behind. Same thing with my off elbow duck here. I would get caught, he would sprawl and they beat me to this corner because I'd be stuck back on my heels like this. So eventually I started tinkering with this outside step. It allowed me to get to the corner and off my heels so I could keep wrestling no matter what. So guys, we're really gonna break this down first with the setup. So, like I said before, I used to hit my duck unders from inside tie or from an elbow. So both of these guys, they still have a hold of my arm and their elbows are down. So when I would try and duck, they'd feel me coming and they'd stuff me right away. So I had to find a way to really get this arm out of the equation, okay? So I landed on lefty collar tie and I want my partner to overtie. So how I really get him to do that is I'm gonna club left and I'm gonna pull back here. So I club left and pull him into me. He needs something to hold on to, so he's gonna reach up with that right hand and overtie almost every time. So again, I reach up, lefty club, pull him in, and he reaches over just like that. This allowed this arm to be completely over top of me. Now it's not in the way, and I outside step to my duck. As the key to this setup is I want him to be coming into me and I want his weight to be coming over top of me. So what I like to do is off this lefty collar tie, I'm gonna be pulling him here and right before he touches me, I disappear. And as you notice too, as I collar tie, as I go, I'm gonna throw his head over top of me towards the mat. So just right before he touches me here, I'm throwing him over top. Really get his hands to the mat, and now I'm behind him with my duck. 